Now they're both the same. Question is, which one is gonna do better? And the only difference is that bubbler. So I was watching a video on TikTok the other day and it was on an experiment with hydroponic plants. Now the experiment was comparing two different types of hydroponic systems. So in this video, it is all about the crack heap method versus the bubbler system. Which one works best? Now we're gonna go set it up and just test it out. What's going on my plant peoples? I'm the ADHD gardener where I use gardening, houseplants, and humor as a form of mental health therapy for sobriety, ADHD, life lessons, and this is ramen. Eh, ramen. Why you always gotta be in my videos, dude? If you've been following me for a while, but even if you haven't, welcome. I have been experimenting with hydroponic systems, well, different varieties of them for a while. So I will drop those links down in the description below so you can go check that out. I did especially a few on the crack key method and also its failures. Another form of hydroponic system that I was using was a bubbler system, which was like a deep water culture. So now we're gonna be comparing both of them side by side. I wanna know, is there one that's better than the other one? I wanna know because I've tried them both and I've seen what they do separately, but I wanna know comparatively to each other, which one reigns supreme. So I'm destined to find out. So I'm gonna make a prediction and I really hope that you're gonna cast your predictions too. Which one will work? The cracky method the best or the bubbler, which is kind of like a version of deep water culture. What do you think? I said to myself, self, I gotta work with what I have. So what I got is here is a two gallon bucket. Eventually those plants are gonna wind up in a five gallon bucket because they're gonna need that much space. When I got these two gallon buckets, then they did not come with any lids. So I'm wondering to myself, how am I gonna be planting this plant on there? Given my past history, I've learned that foam is not strong enough and it definitely moves around a lot more. So I do not wanna do that. I'm gonna be going with wood. I had a spare piece of wood, like I think from a shelf. And what I did was, I cut it down to size and I wound up drilling a bunch of holes in the center of it. This is where I'm gonna be resting my plant in here. If that video on the crack heap failures, then you've already seen that when it came to those little uh, net pots inside of them, they were too small. So I needed to figure out something that's going to be working that's a little more stable. So I'm thinking pool noodle. I am definitely gonna be utilizing a lot of pool noodle. The net cup by itself was not enough to withstand a large plant like a cabbage or a tomato. What I needed to do was give it more structure. So this is where the wood plant comes into play, plus the pool noodle, plus the net cup. All three of them are gonna be able to help hold up that cabbage in place. I just threw in a little bit of Lekka balls just for shits and giggles. You don't really need the Lekka balls, but I figured I would put them in there just so I can keep the roots in place. I don't know if that's gonna make a difference or not. See that there's a gap right there? I don't want that gap. I want it to be as sturdy as possible. So I'm gonna fill up the bottom part of this with Lekka balls and then, you know, top it with the foam piece. I really want those roots in place. For the DWC, I need a bubbler system and that is what the machine and that stone is gonna do. Alrighty, the blue container is gonna be cracky by itself. Just the water, the nutrients, that's it. The white bucket is going to be the one with the bubbler, with the DWC, uh, the little stone. I drilled a little hole on the top of that white container just so I can push the hose through it. That stone is really big and is good for the five gallon bucket, so I may need to buy a smaller stone in the future. But for now, it did work. If you check out the bubbler machine, you'll notice that it has four ports. I'm only using one of them for now, and this experiment is for cabbage. So stay tuned in the future once it hits summertime and even late spring. I'm going to be trying out tomatoes, peppers, and cucumbers. So stay tuned. I'm using all the snow that has been melting and running off through my gutters, and that's the rainwater that I'm going to be using. The nutrient solution of choice is going to be the master blend from the crack key method. I'm going to drop the links down in the description below. You can catch them on Amazon. But that master blend is a classic nutrient blend for most hydroponics. I want everything to stay the same. So I want to use the same nutrients in the DWC bubbler, also in the crack key, so we can compare them both. I've learned from my crack key fails that you have to have the water this. warm so all the nutrients can dissolve in it. If it does not, if the water is not warm, the nutrients will not dissolve and it will definitely play a part in your future roles with those plants. I'm only using half strength of the nutrients because I'm only using half of the bucket space that that recipe requires.
Here comes the last of the water for the blue bucket that is strictly cracky. Now, doesn't this look a lot better than the foam? I mean, if you saw my cracky fail, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I learned a lot since then. You don't have to be perfect with this, but it's all right. I mean, like, try to get as much of the soil as possible off. See how long that was? Look at that. Whoa, that's on long roots. Exactly what I was looking for. The roots of the seedlings are very long because I wanted them to be able to touch the water. But if you look at the bottom of this neck cup, you're going to see that there's some things in the way. So I just kind of snapped off a piece of the plastic so I can have the roots just kind of easily slip right past them. Now, yes, I've heard and now, yes, I've heard and I also recommend getting a way larger neck cup for this very same reason. But again, uh, I don't, I don't want to buy it. So I'm using what I have. So I had to get a little creative. If you don't want to go through this, you can definitely just buy a larger, larger neck cup so it can withstand the weight of the plant. This is just to keep the plant in place. Now, I do question how tight it is when it grows. That's why, obviously, one, this is just for a smaller setup. As they get older and they get put into a larger five gallon, that's when we can step up the size. All right, that is a lot bigger. So I'm going to line up. The roots are right by the one edge, so I'm going to leave that side with the opening and then try that. Very, very, very carefully. Very carefully, Jack. We all know that I do not have any patience, so this is definitely a teaching moment because I had to have patience. I had to be gentle with this plant so I do not ruin the roots or the plant itself. So here we are with the garden therapy moment. There we go. This has more space now for the roots to just kind of play around. Look at that. Okay, check it out. Now the blue one has no bubbler in it. That's just straight crack key. Now the white one that has the bubbler, as you can see here, that is what's gonna be doing for the entire time. Now the roots are long enough where they're reaching both of the water. Everything is exactly the same. Check it out, I love the bubbler. This is what I love about the bubbler. The real big difference for me in between the crack key and the bubbler I've noticed is that the oxygen introduction into the water makes a big difference when it comes to the root growth. I mean, it just looks the most healthiest out of all of them. I mean, not saying that the crack key method does not work because it does. But you're definitely going to see a difference in between using a bubbler and no bubbler. Remember, they both have the same crack key nutrients. They both have all of that together. This is using Master Blend. Now, they're both the same. Question is, which one is going to do better? And the only difference is that bubbler. The last thing we're going to be setting up is the lighting for it. Because without any lighting, this thing is not going to work out. And those seedlings are going to be stretching for the light. And it's not going to look good. So... What I have here is my lighting, and that is what I'm going to be doing. I'm hooking it up. What I love about this one is that I can just kind of, whoop, there we go. I'm just going to set up that lighting right down there. Okay, so it's not perfectly lined up. That's all right. We'll work with it. We'll work with it, all right? It is, it is what it is. Is this going to be good enough? Because check it out. Oh! Now it's perfectly set up. Now we have the lighting, and what I love about this one is that as the plant grows, I could just lift up the lights along with it, and that's the beautiful thing about it. Let me know down in the comments below, have you tried doing both of them at the same time? Which method works for you the better, Crack Key or the DWC with the bubbler? Let me know down in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some good information out of it. If you did enjoy this video, don't forget to smash that like button. You can also catch me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. TikTok is all about the, my ADHD journey and learning about sobriety and recovery and everything ADHD. Also, um, yeah, that's about it. Until the next episode, you guys, where you and me both are going to be growing our happiness one plant at a time, one day at a time. I'll check y'all later in the next episode. Peace and love.